Last start for Messi in between runners and Messi shoots out to the front on the inside. Freedom Fighter as well as who is the problem. So it's Messi who is the problem. The third horse widest of all is Gold Bead and this one has been followed by Considerate Dunn. Then on the inside, Caspian C. Caspian C is being followed by Freedom Fighter. After Freedom Fighter is a Frankenstein. Then Spectacular Return, Lady Sage, one from last on the back marker this time. is sealed the deal. So they swing around the corner, making their way to the 1100 meter marker. Messi and uh, who is the problem? The top two and they're being tracked by Gold Bean. A gap of four lengths back to Freedom Fighter. The favorite is under a ride at this time as Frankenstein is going by at this time and Spectacular Return is also showing good speed. And here comes Lady Sage as Seal the Deal continues to see them all. And this one has about 14 lengths to find as they move to the far turn. And here comes Goldbead. Goldbead now takes over, going to the far turn. In second spot is Messi. In third is Lady Sage. Then comes Frankenstein in fourth. Losing ground very, very rapidly indeed on the inside. So is the problem as uh, the other one, Spectacular Return, goes by. The favorite Freedom Fighter is still racing in mid park and has a lot of work to do as they come to the 400 meter marker and Gold Bead has the call. Gold Bead by two. Frankenstein is now in the second spot. Back in third is Lady Sage. Then a long gap back to the other one. That's considered done. Inside the final 200 meters, they come. And it's between Goldbead and Frankenstein, nip and tuck, a long way to the third horse. That's Lady Sage, and Frankenstein is starting to get the upper hand and is starting to glide right away from Goldbead. Frankenstein takes the final race by a length. In second spot is Goldbead, back in third is Lady Sage. Consider it done, finished fourth. The fifth horse was the favorite. That's Freedom Fighter.